we're back at it uh right now we're going to do some stuff with the lfo lfo tool <laughs> lfo uh really really cool tool um so this tutorial basically we're going to we're going to muck around with some sort of more advanced features of bitwig and i really really love the lfo tool and i just want to show you a few things um which going to make your track sound a little bit better so let's just go through this loop what we've got here uh just so you can hear what it sounds like it's just a um sort of acid -y type loop All right, so that's what we've got there. Um, just uh, yeah, just just a, just a few loops and things we've got going there, so you can hear what what we're going to do. So now this is what we're going to focus on first. We're going to focus on the um, closed hi hat. Now at the moment, uh, we kind of got this sort of straight sounding hi hat on the on the beat um, playing through. It sounds pretty rigid, pretty stiff. There's no movement in it. So what what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and make it sort of more more lifelike. Now there's a couple of things we can do. We can look at the quantize function down here. Now um, we've got a shuffle and we've got a humanize. We can muck around with some of these values. So let's put it up to shuffle it up to about 15, 15, 16 percent something like this. Just do 16. Okay, there we go, 16. And um, we have to hit quantize. And so we've got. A nice swing on that now, so let's listen. Now that kind of sounds good, but that's kind of not what I'm after. It's um, it's too swingy for what I want. So I'm going to undo that and get it back to how it was. I kind of like it on the beat now, but to make it sort of more um, interesting, we're going to get to it now. We're going to use the LFO tool. So. Uh, at the moment I've just got a compressor on there, there's nothing um, fancy going on here at all. Uh, what I want to do is, I want to load up um, in front of that, I want to load up the um, the LFO tool, now that's down here somewhere, LFO mod, let's load that up. Now at the moment, it's not going to do anything, <laughs> it's not going to do anything at all. Um, so what we want to do is we want to sort of modulate something in this um, this loop here. So I'm going to click on the effects here, and then click on this plus here, and I'm going to go for something like um, well, we can do we can do tremolo and tool. Let's try tool, and let's load up tremolo as well. Hold on a second. Good work. Well done. You did it. So I'm recording right now, so I'll be, be, be with you shortly, okay? Okay. Right, good job. All right, the joys of family. <laughs> this happens This happens a lot, so hope, hopefully you don't mind. Hopefully you don't mind. All right, so we've got a tremolo and we've got a tool. Now, um, let's play around a little bit. So we're going to click on the LFO here on the LFO modulator, and we're going to modulate something. Now, let's modulate the amplitude. Now check out that, so now we've got this kind of like pulsing volume type deal going. So I click on it again, and now I've sort of clicked off that. Now I can change the amplitude by moving this knob now, but the LFO is still affecting the amplitude there by moving that value backwards and forwards. So let's listen to that with the rest of it. And now you can hear all of a sudden we've got this movement in our hi-hat and it kind of makes it more humanistic so like when you're hitting when you're playing drums I don't know if you've played drums before but when you're hitting the hi-hat and you're going like that you get a variation in hit so you get a, a variation in volume anyway and this kind of gives it a bit of a track a bit of groove even though you haven't done anything with swing so it kind of gives it a bit of a pulsing effect so okay let's let's turn it off and now it's straight so it's a big difference already. We've made our track sound. Let's put it back on. I mean, it's quite extreme. No, I wouldn't put it on that much um, LFO, but you kind of get the point. It makes the track more interesting, and this is what I'm trying to get at. So we're going to use the LFO tool again. Let's um, click on that, and then double. You double click on that, and then it turns it off. 
uh, well it takes the value off that you've placed on here so if I put a value on like this and I double click on it again uh, it takes it away and the LFO is now off so let's turn tool off and let's um, solo this again let's try using um, the tremolo let's see what have we got So put the depth up. Let's try. Uh, kind of like that better on sign. Right. So we take the rate down. We kind of just got the normal straight. The depth is quite noticeable though. All right, let's try that. Let's put the LFO tool on that, and let's see what happens. Um, so we're going to do this and play that. All right, so that's with it on. That's with it off. So once again, you've got some kind of, you kind of got some kind of groove going on, which is completely different to what, you know, straight hi-hat. And this is what I'm trying to get at. Really simple, modulate stuff, make it sound interesting. Let's do both at the same time. Actually, let's use the second LFO. Completely interesting now. All right, so that's pretty much that. Now that's something that you know. You, you, this is more more advanced stuff and, and kind of stuff that people don't realize when they first start producing. They kind of like go, "Let's put on a, let's put on a, um, a closed hi hat and yeah, that sounds awesome. It does sound awesome. But let's make it more colorful." Now we've got some swing going on without actually adding any swing, without doing any quantize at all. It makes it more interesting, uh, but we've still got a real tight track and everything's on the beat. Alright, let's move on to um, some kind of acidy type sound we've got here going on. Let's see. So this is silent, um, loaded up here, and it's um, a preset I've just tweaked a little bit. What we're going to look for is we're going to look to try and modulate this cutoff here. Now, um, this program works a little bit different from um, some of the other ones, and to get this to modulate, um, you'd think you'd be able to just send this here, add automation lane, but that doesn't always work um, at all. <laughs> so the best way to do this, the best way to actually modulate the cutoff frequency on this synth is to open up these two arrows down here uh, and it brings up this and what we're going to do is we're going to assign um, this control knob to the, the uh, filter cutoff so I'm going to click on that and then drag up and completely fill that up now I can turn that right off now and then use this knob over here to control the cutoff. Now this is really good because now I can send this to uh, add automation lane. There we go. Bam. And I click on just below the M here there's this, these little lines. And if they're not there it's because you've got this selected. Oh that's actually there now. Alright so you click on these lines and there we go we can see we've got um, the filter cutoff macro 1. That's what we've got there. That's a macro. And so if we click on this now and then drag this up and drag it down we can now control that filter cutoff but that's not what we want that's one way to do it now another way to do it would be to um, add another LFO modulator <laughs> let's go down here this LFO mod there we go let's load that up now what we've got to, what we've got to do here is um, 
we can't actually use this LFO mod directly onto this filter over here. It's not actually um, assigning anything to that, so we can't do that. Uh, what we want to do is we want to um, open up effects here, and we actually need to drag our instance of Silent into here, into the effects. And now, um, we can still use this knob in here. It's still going to the automation lane. Um, but now we can click on the LFO and then modulate this cutoff filter inside here. Now this is really good. Um, what I want to do is lift it up a little bit so we've got some kind of filter on and then we're going to go right up. So now if we play it... Now we've got an LFO modulating our cutoff filter inside, inside Silent. So if we open up Silent now, we can see our cutoff filter is going up and down. And we can pretty much do this with any um, with any um, parameter inside Silent now. And this is really good. So we can just light up a few more macros of different things, like maybe resonance. Get that real chirpy sound. Get the key track going up higher. Get the drive. Get the drive gun or any, any parameter inside here we can we can start modulating now. So now when we play it with our rest of a track. Nice modulated cutoff frequency now, and we can do different things. We can change the, change the weight length. We can change it from time and seconds to um, on the bar every 16. We do triplets. Send it in reverse. Offset the phase, change the depth so it's not doing as much, make it real subtle. So you can get some really interesting effects. So now let's take it all off. I actually can't play it now without. Um, yeah, I can't turn that off. Let's, let's just duplicate this. Outside of that, delete that. Let's make it so it sounds right. There we go. So now, instead of this really straight sounding um, silent acid line, we've now got. something a little bit more exciting. Straight. Modulated. Alright, there you go. I hope that's a good tip for you. It's a great tool. I love this LFO modulator. I love the way you can stack the instrument inside it through the effects and modulate any particular any 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 knob. Any device, anything inside here you can modulate. Um, it's fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Great job, Ludwig. Love it. Hope, hope you've learned something. I'll catch you next time.